It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Bengals and the Buccaneers. All that and more coming up next. DA Sports coverage of the NFL has us on the west coast of the Sunshine State. Downtown Tampa is the spot, Raymond James Stadium. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Cincinnati Bengals taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Brandon Gaughton alongside Charles Davis. And before kickoff, Charles, quickly, your keys to the game. Well, partner, I can give you the standard ones, turnovers, special teams play. But here's one that doesn't get talked about much anymore, and that's time of possession. Whoever controls the football, gives their defense a break, and takes care of business, that's the team that's going to win this ball game. McPherson has this one teed up, and off we go from Tampa. Here's Devin Tompkins on the return. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. So out come the Bucks now for their first drive. Orchestrating the offense will be the top pick in the 2018 draft, and that's Baker Mayfield. And he's a guy who plays with a lot of emotion. He's learned how to channel it really positively because when he throws the football downfield and makes a big play, He'll be the first guy downfield to celebrate with you. But also, when his team needs that confidence, when they need that jolt, they turn to him, and he's ready to provide it. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They begin the drive on the ground. It's White. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. That's a gain of 13 and a very solid opening play for this offense. Well, there you go, this offense off to a strong start this afternoon. Yeah, with a big run and a first down. That's putting what you practice into play. That's excellent execution to get things started. They go right back to White here on first down. And a nice move will yield nothing as he stopped behind the line. Well, you see the speed there of Daxton Hill reaching him before he could get back to the line of scrimmage. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. From the gun, Mayfield. Yeah, that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Force the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Frees up your guys elsewhere. On third down, Mayfield. Being chased out left. And he wisely will throw that one away. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Fourth down, so Jake Camarda is out there. Charlie Jones, deep for Cincinnati. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Here are the Bengals on offense, and here is Joe Burrow ready to lead them at quarterback. And when you come into the league as the number one guy selected, a lot of hype comes with it. Sometimes that weight can be unbearable. But this young man, he took that weight on and handled it as well as you can imagine. And I love his ability to make a second, third reaction play and create downfield. Burrow going to lead up the Bengals here first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. 
Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Back to Mixon on second down. And he'll get about six up to the 27-yard line. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. So that'll be no better than an incompletion, and that's going to bring up second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Now Burrow to throw on second down. Out to the left. He's got sample there. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. But from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? First point on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Yeah, yeah, moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on their heels a little bit. You put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right, that's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, grab that dagger play, grab that play and just finish them off right now, because I think they'd love to gain that big advantage early. No score after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Bengals in control of the football as they've got it looking at fourth and less than a yard. So on fourth down, on is Brad Robbins to punt for the Bengals. And it's a fake here on fourth and inches. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. And the Buccaneers' defense holds, and they get the football back. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. It's caught by Mike Evans. It'll be a gain of five, and it's second down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. On second down, they'll run with White. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And he's going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. 
Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. He completes it to Evans. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Ball on the 36 now. Here's second and a couple. On the draw, it's White. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Not too many more ideal situations in second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Mayfield. And he completes this to Russell Gage. Calling a gain of six on the play. And that will bring up second down. Mayfield now. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Mayfield. He's got his target. That's complete. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and ten. And again, it's Mayfield. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Russell Gage, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Buccaneers post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. The extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Bengals going to take over late in this first half. And with just under a minute to go, they might try to think about mounting a drive here if they can and get in the end zone. Could potentially tie this game up. Now Burrow on first down. Over the middle, that's caught by Chase. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Face back. Defense. No! Do our job, man! So it was already a gain on the completion, but tack on some more with that penalty. Absolutely, no matter what on angle you're making the tackle from, you can't grab the face mask, and that's just putting your defense on its heels just a little bit more. Now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Burrow looking to pass. 
This goes out wide for Mixon. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Second down and three. Now it's Burrow. Working the middle here. That's complete to sample the tight end. 12 yards that time and a Cincinnati first down. A nice chunk play from the tight end position, and it illustrates the cohesiveness that he and his quarterback have. Both saw the extra defender doubling him up, and they still combined for the completion and big gain. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit, and he gets a small gain on the play. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. McPherson's kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've reached intermission here in a low-scoring game. 7-3 is our score. As we send you a stone's throw away across I-4 to Orlando, there standing by is Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports This has certainly been report. a fun one Coach. to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, and we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football the rest of the way. We saw a strong first half out of the former Heisman Trophy winner, Baker Mayfield. He has a touchdown pass, and that amounted to the only touchdown of the game for either team thus far. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. The Bengals with work to do in this third quarter, but they'll get the football first as we are back underway. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Bengal offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. This one hauled in by Sample. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll be second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Like certainly thought he had an open room behind a first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Now Burrow, and he is caught, and he is going to have the Bengals first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. 
And that's one of those where it feels like backyard football in a sense. You say, forget about the route. Just run to the open spot in the middle of the field, and I'll find you. Good throw, good concentration on the catch, and they pick up the first down. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. And that one too wide and incomplete. At this point in the second half, one mistake on a forced throw could do your chances of a comeback. So that's the right call there to just throw that one away. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And oh, he caught it up. And it looks like one of the DBs has it. And they take over. They'll set up shot at the 46-yard line. To the opposite of what they envisioned when they left that locker room, a turnover on the opening drive of this third quarter. I like your identification there because that's exactly what they discussed in the locker room before they came out on the field. Let's get the ball. Let's go down and score. Put some points on the board and feel good about it. Not an insurmountable lead, but definitely not how they saw it at halftime. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. They will throw on first down with Burrow. Looking for Chase on the end route. He's got him. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Mixon with a first down carry. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. I have to think a major focus at the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. That's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, who can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Burrow on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Bengals first down, maybe by about a yard as they find a way to convert on third and inches. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Touchdown. 25 yards for Joe Mixon. And the Bengals have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Well, they did a pretty good job keeping him in check to that point, but he finally breaks off a nice run here and gets into the end zone. And it just takes one, doesn't it, partner? That can undo a lot of good work that a defense has done to that point. You break off one right there, and everything suddenly looks bad for you. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And the lead is now 10-7. to seven.
After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Here comes the Buccaneers offense. They get their first reps of the second half. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth, almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. On first and 10, Mayfield. He finds his target, it's Evans. So the completion good for seven there, and it'll be second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's a second and three now from the 33. Back now in Tampa. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. They got two of the three they needed there. It leaves them with third and just a yard. Well, how about the big guy there showing some agility? He just float from his D tackle position in order to make that play. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with Wright. And he's brought down, but not before picking up the first with a very effective stiff arm. Everyone understood their role on that play. Third and one, you know the defensive guys, they're trying to get down and get low and get leverage on the offensive lineman, but they didn't allow that to happen. They created a crease and allowed him to get through for a first down. A first down throw from Mayfield. That is caught. It's Chris Godwin. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A really nice gain of 25 yards. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there for the offense. They're hoping that that's something that they can jump start with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. Mayfield to throw it. Right back to Chris Godwin. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. First down, Mayfield. And oh, that one nearly intercepted. That would have sealed it. Instead, it'll be second down. Now Mayfield. This is caught by Evans. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save the timeout. Well, they got the yardage they needed there. Picked up the first down, got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have as well as the understand where they are on the field? Here's first and goal. Here's Baker. Godwin's got it. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Buccaneers answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth-quarter lead. Well, 
That's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got yeah, to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. And one extra point up and through, and the lead is now 14 to 10. Touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. Fights forward at the 20, and he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. So Burrow and the Bengals down 14-10, a minute 45 to play. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Throwing, Burrow, throw left side complete, that's Boyd. Sometimes it's hard to figure, but you can live with incompletions in this situation. You can't live with these short gains that take time off the clock. You know who loves it, this defense. Here's a second and seven. Burrow. Complete to Boyd, and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Brandon's okay with what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. All three timeouts still at their disposal. Here's first and ten now. Burrow. And his throw here is incomplete. I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Just over 50 seconds remain. Here's second and 10. Now Burrow. Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. This is first and 10. Here's Burrow. And that one complete once again to Higgins. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. Here we go. First and goal. To throw Burrow. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And that absolutely cannot happen. Just a gain of a yard in this situation, you've got to get chunks of yardage. Otherwise, the defense, very happy with what you're doing. And Burrow's saying, let's go, let's go. Back to throw. And now here comes their final timeout as they take it with eight ticks remaining. Well, this crowd trying to force a false start here. Third and inches. Here we go with Burrow. 
they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. Charles, that drive was perfect, methodical, executed so well, and they grabbed that lead with almost no time left for a last gas from the other side. No way you could have drawn up a better final drive because not only did they keep their eyes on the end zone, they made sure they bled the clock out as well and denied their opponent a chance to respond. That's just terrific situational football to end this one. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And it would appear, barring some late heroics, they're going to get out of here with a come-from-behind victory. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. They'll come up first and 10 here. One last shot for Mayfield here. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner. Although on that last play, they were so backed up, it would have taken a miracle, and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play and neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded because we've seen the improbable before. A couple of laterals, maybe some poor defense on the back end. They might have gone all the way to the end zone. In this case, though, it didn't happen. Perhaps next.